Since the Great Recession, our city has definitely seen its ups and downs in terms of revenue, but a few things have remained constant. Santa Cruz has a 100% track record for an on-time balanced budget, and this year's budget also has a 16% reserve fund. We are very fortunate to have survived the recession without any layoffs or serious cuts in services. A healthy bottom line for our city means that we can continue to provide excellent services, build our infrastructure, and add new programs that keep our community beautiful, safe, and healthy. One of our main focuses at City Hall is to increase the number of high paying jobs for our residents. Businesses in the aerospace industry, skilled manufacturing, and professional services are hiring. This helped us decrease the unemployment rate locally, which dropped from 7.3% in May 2011 to 6.8% in May 2012. Our residents are always asking for more retail stores and restaurants. And over the past year, we have added Larson Steakhouse, Lucille's Barbecue, The Tilted Kilt, Chronic Cantina, Ashley Furniture, Ulta Beauty, The Apple Store, and soon we'll be adding new car dealerships, Mini Cooper and Audi. This year's City Capital Improvement Program budget increased 44% over last year. This is because our city was extremely successful in garnering grant awards, which allows us to begin work on new projects that will really benefit our community. In Canyon Country, we are spending over $15 million this fiscal year on capital and beautification projects, as well as more programs and services. One of the largest projects we'll embark upon this year on the east side is the widening of the Golden Valley Road area near State Route 14. Right now, that section is a two-lane roadway that regularly backs up during peak travel times. The expansion project will make it a safer six-lane road with new sidewalks and a shared bike path. This should really improve traffic flow in that area. Please be patient, the project will likely take 18 to 24 months to finish. Canyon Country will also see a new bike path on Soledad Canyon on the north side to Valley Center, which will connect Golden Valley to Soledad Canyon Road with the bike path. And on Lost Canyon, west of Sand Canyon, we will be widening the bridge that services two schools on that road. Through our Safe Route to School program, we'll be adding enhancements at Sky Blue Mesa and Pine Tree Elementary Schools. In Valencia, we are widening the McBean Parkway Bridge over the river near the post office to eight lanes with a Class 1 bike path. This will improve traffic flow and create a multimodal corridor. Soon you will see a new median on McBean in front of the hospital that will lengthen the left turn pocket at Avenida Navari. A new bus turnout southwest at that intersection of McBean and Avenue Navari is also being constructed, all to improve traffic flow on McBean Parkway. You may be surprised to learn that the number one way our city grows in population is through the annexation process. Over the last 25 years, we've processed 28 annexations. This year, we have a total of seven new annexations that will add 6,500 acres and 25,000 residents to our city. Earlier this summer, Ellesmere Canyon and the Copperstone community annexed to the city. This fall, we welcome in Fair Oaks, Jake's Way, Vista Canyon, Norland Road, South and North Sand Canyon, and North Copper Hill. With these new annexations, our population is expected to reach 205,000 people, making Santa Clarita the third largest city in Los Angeles County, just behind Los Angeles and Long Beach. As is our practice, we want to make sure that these communities feel welcome to our amazing city and enjoy all the benefits of being part of Santa Clarita. Those who know me know that I have a heart for our community's youth. As a high school principal and father of two, I'm well aware of how devastating drugs and alcohol are on our children and on our families. Our city, our sheriff's department, Los Angeles County 5th District and the Hart Union School District have partnered on a new program to prevent drug and alcohol use among teens. This fall, we rolled Drug-Free Youth in Town, or Defy It. Defy It is a new anti-drug prevention and education program that is free, school-based, and voluntary for teens. 
It is a club that is run by and for teens. The goal is that teens thrive in a positive peer network that seeks to create a culture of sobriety. Each of the high school campuses has a club and trained club advisors who work with teen leaders to develop, coordinate, and supervise on-campus events, community service projects, and workshops that promote a drug-free lifestyle. One of my favorite components of the program is the random drug tests that are administered by club members throughout the year, giving kids the excuse they need to avoid the temptation of drugs and alcohol. I want to encourage you to get involved by volunteering at Defiant events, soliciting sponsors, and attending workshops. Santa Clarita is the first city in California to partner with Defiant, which is now has a 99.6% success rate for participants in Miami. It will take all of our efforts in this community in order to create a safe, sober Santa Clarita with our teens.